Hello and welcome to Leg Up Travels. We are in San Cristobal Fort in Puerto Rico. And behind me, you can see uh, down the hill there, and they're having a little bit of a marathon. And you may be able to see the other fort that's down a little bit further. We're not gonna go check out that fortification on this trip. I just don't have enough time, but we are gonna go on a little tour of San Cristobal Fort here. So come along. So here we have what was the kitchen at the time. It says uh, they had a six burner stove, believed to be located in the southeast corner here. And of uh, the south wall, they used for storing fuel for the fire, wood, charcoal, coal. And uh, it also says much of the kitchen south wall was removed during the mid 1800s in an attempt to approve the casemate ventilation. After renovations in the 1930s, the kitchen was relocated to another part of the fortification. The casemate was used as a storage room, but this was originally the kitchen of Fort Cristobal. So this is a national historical site, also a world heritage site, as you can see here. You get a little closer and you can read that right on there. A little, little side room that tells you about life in San Juan. Over here they have some ammunition boxes and some sandbags. The changing of defenses since the outbreak. World War II meant that Castillo de San Cristobal would have to be modified to meet the requirements of the modern warfare for coastal defense outposts and anti-aircraft batteries. And a hidden command and communications bunker were added to expand the military capabilities of this facility. Here it gives a little bit about how it's a key to the Caribbean. It was a strategic place for the United States for entry into the uh, Caribbean during World War I. Over through that little grate is the uh, gift shop over there, which we'll catch on the way out. And then you got these little walkways here. I'm six feet tall and it's about six foot two. Just so you know, it's just a couple inches. I could walk through without squatting over. And they have a lot of little rooms on the side, little garrison rooms and stuff that give information as well. More garrison rooms. You can see some of the iron works on the doors. You can see the woodwork on the uh, window shutters. See if we can get a little bit, not too much there. We're gonna go through another side room over here. Standing guard. It's a relic of a helmet from back in the day. Over here we have more about life in San Juan. And then we have a beautiful, beautiful view I'm going to show you outside the window there of the ocean. It's beautiful out today, a little bit of a breeze, but it's beautiful. Not too bad of a breeze. We got a cargo ship over there, it looks like, up there. And here we're going down into the hidden defenses hallway tunnel system. So this is the hidden tunnel system. I wouldn't say it's so hidden, but it's a nice tunnel system. It's not real hot in here. It's not real cold. It's it's moderate temperature for walking. And uh, here we have a little side. I, I don't know what this is. Was this like the prison cell maybe or something? Let's take a look. I believe it was. Let's see. Ah, yes. The good old galleons. 
Good old galleons. And over here we got some scratchings in the wall that they preserved of different ships and everything. Some of the prisoners. Very, very cool. I like how it was preserved and blocked off for historical reasons and for preservation. We're going to go back up out. So this is a long tunnel system. If I'm not mistaken, it ends at a little gift shop down here from the last time I was here. I may be wrong. Maybe another fort, maybe the other one. And yeah, I was wrong. And now we are outside over here. And over there, you will see the cruise ships in the town getting some, uh, some renovations. Down here, we'll just walk down here and take a look and see what we got. You can see some of the fortifications in the fort. We will be walking back over that way and up towards the top up here to get more of a bird's eye view of the coast and the beauty of Puerto Rico. So let's see what we got down here. Don't really remember coming over this way last time, but maybe I did. Let's see. Take a look and see what's in there in a minute. But first we'll go over here and take a look at the ships over there in the corner and part of the fortifications. You can see how tall it is. It's beautiful. Beautiful weather. Love history. Absolutely love history. And I hope uh, people really learn about it more so that they can uh, learn from past mistakes and uh, learn how to uh, forge ahead without as much conflict and uh, and learn you know you can learn a lot from history and prepare for the future as well so I was right there is another gift shop down here there's a smaller gift shop right here and over here we have some information on the uniforms and the clothes, what they left behind. And over here we have a suit of armor. Very cool. And an old Spanish flag that used to fly at the fort because it, it was like Florida, a Spanish colony. Down there you can see some of the models of the ships that they saw back in the day so here we have a beautiful beautiful looks like it's a well restored cannon and it is a bronze eight pounder cannon and it states here that it was a um, medium sized gun for the 1700s operated by a team of eight to ten well trained artillerymen and the eight pounder could be fired once every 30 seconds and hit a target a mile away, if the crew was lucky. So we are going up another tunnel that takes us back to the main floor. And here's where they get that saying, light at the end of the tunnel. There it is. You can see it bright, at least in this view, it looks like something you descend or think ascending into another world or the heavens, if you believe in that, it is something else. Here we have a smaller cannon on display in the courtyard. So here's the main courtyard where you come in and the gift shop's over there and we already did some filming. There's the entrance, there's a line now, and there's some rooms that are closed off over there. It looks like a couple cisterns for water here, 
that they have. And then we just saw the chapel. We'll go up to the second floor, but we're going to finish the first floor here. And we're going to head up this way right towards that ship, which I believe is my ship. There's a beautiful, beautifully restored cannon right there. You can tell by the new wood and everything. You can smell the stain still on the wood. But it's beautiful. The very next room. And what do we got in this next room? Oh, we got troop quarters up here. So this is where the troops would stay. We'll go up here. I don't remember coming up these the last time. This must have been closed off. But this is where the troops would stay when they were stationed here. It looks like just big rooms. Uh, yeah, it looks like big rooms. Like I said, you got about six foot two entranceways here. So, yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. Those look like they've been restored, but very well. And then we got a spiral staircase here. I wonder if you can go up. And now we can That kind of gives you an idea. It's a little bit of wane, but it feels good because it's still hot. And yes, you have the American flag which always flies first or on the left as you look at it then you got the territory flag of Puerto Rico it's, it's not a state flag people because Puerto Rico is not a state let me help you out there a little and then you have one of the old Spanish flags and here we go we're gonna walk over this way So you can't walk on a lot of the fort um, because it's under construction and uh, and restoration. So, well, you can walk on a good amount of it, and you can even stand up on some of these things, which I'm going to do. Hop up, and you can walk up over here. You don't want to get too close because you could fall, but. This is a section that you can walk on because you can see some people there, but over there you cannot. So, beautiful coastline, beautiful. And over this way, you're gonna see another fort uh, down there. In the distance, uh, right there. I've been to that fort before. I just don't have enough time. So we'll go to that fort the next time. I guess it's about a half mile down. And it's not as big as this, but it's pretty close. So, I'll check that out the next time I come to Puerto Rico. This is the main firing battery area, as it stated. It's got some old relics of cannonballs there. An old cannon. Different sites. We've already looked over that way towards the ships. So, we'll look over this way. We'll head over towards the guard shack, or I keep saying guard shack, the sentry lookout position pillbox in the corner. You can see where we were up there. And yeah, we got a little bit of wind. So I'm gonna cover it up and hopefully you can still hear me. And I'm walking towards the, uh, the sentry lookout. So you see these openings here, some of them were for uh, riflemen and, and such and they got steps to step up there and shoot down and there's different platforms for such and I'm sure some of them were, uh, could slide up a cannon in there as well and shoot out if they needed to. the sentry pillbox so this here goes out to an observation post area it's kind of like a, a newer addition as well for the second world war and the u.s army built it 
and they pretty much would do that. They would spy, keep a lookout for submarines or enemy ships, different things like that. And it was an active post called Fort Brook during World War II. De Cologne, named after this monument here and Cristobal Cologne. Just down from the port fort, the fort is right off to the right. A lot of times they'll have like a few vendors here and there's the fort through the trees you can see a little bit. They'll have some vendors here selling different wares, homemade things.